All right, guys, this is the season finale of Dogs of Duskfall. I hope everybody's ready. I hope that they have uh, packed a lunch, because I think it's going to be a long one, and I think it it's going to run the gamut of feelings, emotions, and mm. everything else in between. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass this right away over to Eric. Sir, it is yours. Run with it. Thank you. Hey, everybody. I'm Eric Michael Garris. This is episode six, I think, for Dogs of Duskfall. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, yeah. I'm super excited to do this. Uh, how's everyone else doing? Let's start with uh, or with Anik. Uh, yeah, I'm That's who you are. I'm super. We're, we're I'm find you. Oh, yeah. your character. Oh, oh you do all the, do that thing. Okay, I thought you were asking how I was. I'm like, I, I'm ask you. Not, yeah, of course. I'm not yeah. ready for this. Start with that, and then um, it's fine. Tell everybody. Um, hi, hello. Panic control. Uh, I do Twitch stuff, and I'm a game developer, and I'm here, and this is my favorite thing I've done on Twitch. So that's all that really matters. Uh, you can find me everywhere at Panic Control. And we played the Final Fantasy demo on Tuesday with a broken controller, so that was funny. Um, <laughs> not rage-inducing at all. Uh, I'm going to kick it over to uh, Schmooze. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Alan, or Geeve. Uh I'm back from PAX East, and I don't have the coronavirus. Fingers crossed. Uh, I... <laughs> Famous last yeah. words, literally. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I uh, play a whole bunch of games on Twitch. I also do the whole voice acting thing. Uh, and today I will be playing as Schmooze, which is essentially just a more attractive version of me in real life. But he has combat skills, sort of, but not really. Uh, we've had a fantastic campaign so far. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash geef. It means give in Dutch. I'm not Dutch, long story. Uh, and Twitter at Geef Shout because I thought one day I'd be a shoutcaster when I made the Twitter account, and then I'm not, and then some other motherfucker has Geef. So it's like, what am I going to do? Anyway, that's my story. Uh, Lily. Hi, I'm sick. It's nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> hi. hi, sick. I'm dad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually a dad. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm a dad. I'm allowed to say that. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Lily Vanilli, and I my camera broke, and I keep looking at my old camera, not the new one that's in front of me. So hi, um, I'm sick, and I do lots of weird, stupid things on my channel. So if you like weird, awkward content, I'm definitely the lady for you. But yeah, I'm sick, and I'm happy to be here. And yes, hello. Okay, uh, next person, Oz, go. Hello, I'm Oz. Uh, I am on. I'm from the Shadowcasters Network, uh, where we play all kinds of fun tabletop RPGs. Um, and I am playing Sever the Leech, our Plague Doctor and Group Mom. Uh, and finally, passing it over to Panic. I think I went already, but I didn't say I, I was playing. I'm playing with. Did I? But, <laughs> Panic uh, went first. Yeah, I went first. Yep. We, don't okay. about so we haven't. Listening. Sorry, I was I no, was Bub too busy I... being plague fashion to notice. <laughs> Bub. Bub, Bub and I are twins, so yeah. it's easy identical. for you to get us yeah. identical. Yeah. Apparently, Bubs is a streamer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Right. No way! Like, yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Allegedly. Okay. All right. All right. What do you stream? Uh, mostly after dark on. Um, uh, I really, it's chatterbait. I'm going to be honest. It's chatterbait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seriously, where do I find that? Uh, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Okay. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Bob. Uh, most of you know me already. And uh, I am playing Coomer. Coomer is the hound of the group. Uh, Coomer is largely silent until he is forced to talk, which is far more often than I care for him to be. Uh, it leads to belligerence and nonsensical noises, but the only one that clearly understands him anymore is Hoagie. His, uh, his pig friend. I think maybe maybe Fox still does. I can't remember if we lost that feature or not. Was that lost in, in yeah, a devil's party? Lost. Damn. It was lost. Damn. That's rough. But, well, we'll figure it out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, hoping hoping things, fingers crossed, things things don't go too bad tonight. Yeah. Um. So let's talk about what happened last time we played. Uh, it's been two weeks. Mm -hmm. but we, spent a, we spent a good bit of the session leveling up, doing the little mechanical Excel spreadsheet filling in. You know, um, and it's important because there you all are preparing for the biggest score of your all's lives. Um, it's going to be a combination of two scores. First score here is uh, relieving the red sashes coffers of uh, their possessions in there uh, for the crows. And the second score is still unknown, but it's been hinted at that whips expertise will be needed. And so uh, whatever that means, it probably isn't great. Uh, so anyways, 
The party ambushed uh, and fought their way through um, the dangerous draft alley in Bagley um, in pursuit of the access tunnels of the sewers, as the sewers are what connects um, the Red Sash's local HQ, um, also better known as, uh, or properly known as the Brick Pile, um, and with your entrance and exit, as you're going to be drilling through the foundations of you know, beneath this old masonry uh, building and getting into their vault. Um, we stopped uh, playing after the crew kind of traversed and prowled their way or skulked their way through the sewers, um, climbing down to this, this, according to the maps, the ostensibly where you should begin to make um, your tunneling into the vault. Okay. So um, there's a couple things. Uh, as we have a quick little vignette at the start of the episode after the uh, intro plays. Uh, the first one here is that those weird sisters uh, that got that delivery... Um, it was a painting and they're looking at this painting and it's actually blank except for like this very like bone white frame around it. Um, so it's kind of like this sort of just a black canvas. Maybe it's a little bit smoky. Mm. Um, it's not moving or anything like that, but it just kind of has that nice gentle gradient of like black and grays. I'm um, surrounded by sort of like an ornate floral. I'm um, thinking like one of those big, big thick with like seven C's floral 1920s kind of like big portrait frames. Right, but it's almost like made out of bone. Um, but then cut to you all uh, in the sewers. The hair on your all's necks stand as a cacophony of rat screeches um, begin to approach you all's ears from the distance. Um, you look down these decrepit sewers as far as you can to the very edges of your vision. As you can see, a little bit less than what you could before. As those old lights down here, like those really, really, really old string lights are going out one by one as a slow moving black mist kind of blots out another light and then another uh, meanwhile there's sort of a scuffy undulating carpet trying to outrun it so whatever that is probably not great either um, so there's going to be a, a, a potential problem um, to this mission so you need to hurry okay so uh, get to tunneling um, you all can assist the crows here um, doing the tunnel, or you can try to do it yourselves. Um, but basically, you have to go through these foundations and get into the vault. Um, probably before whatever this shadowy, inky blot cloud comes uh, gets you. Gets to you. Are we picking up right after I summoned a ghost, and it and then it like walked through the wall? Yeah, it walked through the wall and and kind of cleared out, and it's going to be protecting you. So now, but you physically can't get into the vault until you go through. Gotcha. The there's this there's, there's a problem of physical space okay what's the likelihood that the red sashes would hear an explosion um you're pretty far down um it would probably cause no like it would probably definitely cause noise but um it would also make it pretty quick uh for I mean, I'm not sure how the thickness of, of this ancient foundations are. You know, I'm not going to tell you it's exactly 33 feet wide or whatever. Uh, but, you know, it, it's going to take some either some charges or or a steady amount of time drilling. Um, based on things, uh, you know, the, the moving of the clouds and stuff like that, you probably got a couple hours. This, this slow wave. Oh, oh, so, that's enough so time to get in and out. So we're seeing down the hallway a very slow mist. Yeah. I thought it was coming at us like lost. <laughs> right, right. No, no. <laughs> Smoke monster. Okay, good. Yeah, you have it right. Right. So so again, we're in these giant vaulted sewers. I mean, you're in some of the oldest parts of Duskfall, perhaps even like pre-industrial Duskfall. Um, so you're in like the fairy foundations of, of many great buildings under here. Um, you know, buildings have been built on top of each other, et cetera, right? And then you're near the very bottom. Um, there's this strange black cloud in the distance slowly coming towards you. As you guys kind of have this uh, a kit for for kind of drilling through, um, you know, I guess some mining explosives set up. And you're supposed to cut your way into this vault. Can so I? Fighting your way through the, the brick house was going to be just, there's no way. Can I? Uh, as, as everyone sort of like gets to work on this wall and the crows are starting to get up, uh, can I command our 
cohort to like pitch in and just start fucking digging and then also mark off demolition tools like we hand out like a fucking crowbar and a sledgehammer and some spikes to like get this thing rolling get them involved more people more tools like oh yeah totally. to, our cohort, go. to our cohort or to us i mean the co- i'm gonna command the cohort but y'all can pitch in as well i guess would oh, be yeah. like an assist your band of loyal thugs yes sure um yeah they don't they don't they're they're of course loyal so they're gonna do it mm-hmm. um they're a little bit concerned about that that smoke i think one of them makes a reference about how it kind of reminds them of some of the, the chemicals from the trenches in the Scoven wars mm-hmm. i think i, I think i come back a weird to them. creepy vibe yeah i think i come back to them after doing the weird thing that i did and you see this like sort of like fading glow of a of a throne still like yeah on my forehead and i just like start yelling at them i'm like come on we gotta go like here and i start like passing stuff out I'm like you you help them and i point to the crows and i'm like y'all get set up we're gonna go we're gonna help you and like it's like crowbar heavy drill like i came i came heavy so you, i have a lot of shit with me you all right boss yeah Got i'm a... fine like look you yeah, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. But like, you seem to yeah. have an anomaly on your head. Yeah, we can talk about that now, <laughs> or we can talk about that later. I'm fine. Coomer's gonna see this mist or smoke and um, immediately begin um, trying to help pull apart, pull apart this wall or just work on it. He's also got demolition tools as well. I've got sure two uh, two encumbrance mm. in that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there's a few ways to do that to do this. Um, either one of you all can lead a group action to do this. Um, we can leave it up to a fortune roll, which just represents kind of the time spent doing it. Um, I'll lead a group action. I have a good rec score. Oh, ooh, yeah, you do. You could lead the group action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I think um, I think Sever's gonna you know just kind of as as drilling is happening right he's like testing yeah. bits like looking for the weak spots and then um i'm gonna also throw in um from my bandolier some grenades sure. uh so that i can put in like specifically like weak spots i'm just basically testing the wall and i'm gonna be like yeah well this is this is like some some heavy heavy ass bedrock uh yeah. that all these buildings are in so this is why it's also while this is really frustrating to get through um, it's also the, one of the spots that's probably least defended because it just assumes that it's it's not going to be attacked. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So it's going to be a lot of blasting and then pickaxing the rest of it out and then blasting and getting it out. That's probably the fastest way of doing it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can see you all like there's plenty. Typically, there's a problem of like too many cooks. You know, there's not enough space. But I think I think you all are describing this well enough. Then there's enough wall here to to get through. Uh, that th- there's there's a whole concerted effort to, for everyone to chip in. We've got mm. people who are like carrying buckets of debris, like back up the tunnel as far as they can go to get it to get it out of the way, you know. Yeah. Sure. Or piling it in front of the hallway where the mist is coming. Or yeah, and or that. <laughs> so. Um, Not that it'll help, but you know. Yeah, uh, your position, your position is going to be desperate here, okay. um, but I think your effect level is going to be standard. You, you, you said you have demolition tools and. Yeah, if yeah, I mark off demolition tools, does that give us increased effect? Or if uh, multiple correct. of us do? Okay, one of I'll you, mark. John, just one of you has to say you have demo tools. I'll do it. I got them. Okay. I already have them marked down. Sure. Uh, it, go, it counts against your load, which is why it's important who has it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so if it's a group action, does anybody need to roll prior to me? I forget how this works. Sure. Um, so a group action works is that everyone who's chipping in on the group action literally just rolls the dice. Anyone who gets a three or less on the dice, um, you will be taking stress as the leader as you cover for them. However, um, the benefit of doing group action is that you take the highest die uh, that anybody rolls and treats that as your success. So if, two, if somebody rolls two sixes, then it's a critical. Mm-hmm. Okay, sounds good. Right. So what is this based out of? Is this fortune or one of our... Oh, this is a group action of wreck. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh shit in wreck. Me neither, but hey, we could still roll numbers. We get a minimum of one, right? So but if you don't have any dots in it, you roll two dice and take the lowest. Take the lowest. Oh, that's yeah. that's beautiful. 
Okay. You can always push yourself. So, yeah, so maybe this sounds like I should just take lead. I don't mind being the... Sure. I don't mind being the one that, like, helps yeah, guide everybody and just... have to succeed. Them. I mean, somebody could assist you, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody else could take a stress and assist you. Yeah, then yeah. I'll do it. I've, I've got stress open. It'll just put me to three stress. I'll take it. Okay, perfect. I feel like um, the Darkest Dungeon, like, vaults soundtrack part be good for this yeah. point in the game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I'm pretty sure it's copyright and stuff, but yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking of right now. All right, go ahead. Uh, All right, desperate standard with one tense. bonus die, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, desperate great if we're using demolition tools, right? Because it increases um, the level. Yeah, correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. desperate great. Thank you. Thanks for doing my math. Yeah, it would be standard, and then the tools make it great. Crit. Crit. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, you're leading Boom. your group action. Oh, yeah. now, now, we, now we just play to see how much... Uh, no, he's, he's doing it himself, and then Bubs is assisting oh. him. So there's no group action. Okay. Um, so you already <laughs> led us about the grenades and putting them right. Um, is there is there anything that you're drawing from here um, to do this? Because I totally will let you describe the success as you get ready to bust to the vault with a crit, right? You you totally make it. And you do it, and, and that hardly takes any time. I, I want to know what is the secret here that works for you so well? Is it something about you? Is it something about the stone? Is it about your knowledge? Is it your skills? something innate like what does it tell you about like what does this tell us about this it's definitely a me this is definitely uh this is definitely a sciencey architecture based you know just in terms of like okay as we drill through i'm noticing like okay this part's pretty weak and if we just put a grenade here then that'll just blow out a bunch of chunks so that it cuts down on our time and um who disagrees like, with you hmm which so because you succeeded which of the five of the uh, five of here like either the thugs and stuff too which of, who do who do you think disagreed with you about doing this approach with the grenades? Thinking that this that would never work, or like you're just gonna make you know, who who do you think would completely was trying to contradict you, and who who did you uh, prove wrong? I got an idea. You want to hear it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Nobody. That's an answer. So so my favorite contact, who's not come into this at all, is Agnes, a master architect. And <laughs> I'm probably like, yo, no, like I talked to my buddy, you know, and like, I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 we got to do this thing. Cause like, you know, I've spent some time just kind of picking his rainbow architecture. I think I know more than I do. I'm like, no, 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 they should go like here and here. And you're like, flip, trust me. This is... And I know what I'm doing. I'm like, no, no, no. But like, <laughs> he was telling me about like this thing. This I'll is take pretty it, I'll take it under consideration. Sandstone. This is, this is thousands of pounds of pressure. Exactly. There's no way this would work. And then I'll take it under consideration. Like, perfect. <laughs> And I just, I'm, I'm like worrying way too much mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then I finally do like one of those, like everyone back up, fire in the hole kind of thing, blow it up yeah. and then boosh and just like sets off one blast, which then ch breaks off a bunch of chunks and just gives us a nice opening that we can all kind of, I guess, crawl through. Yeah. Um, yeah. You kind of have to, yeah, you're probably like on your knees ish. Right. Um, yeah. Right it's, for it's, the explosion, it's I turn to schmooze and I'm like, this is, this is not going to work. And then it just, it does. And I'm like, yeah, it all is nice say when you were saying. Yeah, that was it. Uh, after you. Any chance to be a yeah. smart ass is pretty cool. much. You know, so that also didn't take you hardly any time. So the doom clock is still at zero. Oh, the, the um, doom clock. Yes. Yeah, the, the mist. The doom clock. <laughs> oh, it has a name. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, Wait, like, the, it's just a box, natural. Fox is going to 1v1 that clock. It's a weather pattern in the sewers. Got him. A weather okay, pattern go, in the go, sewer go. is called doom. Oh, this is fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's doom right. Cloud. Today's weather is, is clear skies and doom. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so, um, well, with the crit, I mean, the vault is yours as you bust in. Um, what it kind of looks like here, um, you can see around that there are just rows and rows of like just kind of old, spent, and dirty ass coinage. Uh, it's not really like super counted in any way. Uh, this is all of the winnings from the Red Sash's gamblings. So there's a mixer, a mixture of poker chips and stuff to various casinos in here as well. Um, furthermore, there's a couple Red Sash's uniforms, some fine disguise kits. Uh, furthermore, um, there's several, uh, an array of drugs, uh, you know, that, that they were kind of just experimenting with different strands. You don't have time to really like see. They're not really like super labeled, right? Um, but this is all of the stuff from their drug den. And, and their casinos that they've been they've been running here. 
uh, this, this is yours. In terms of uh, coinage here, it's a, you know, I'm not including all of the other tools and things I mentioned here in this vault. You're looking at about 16 coin, and this is all going to the crows. As is. As in, you don't get any. Well, didn't we get part of this? Wasn't I like, like a... money. You get, you get to run Bagley, was the deal. Yeah, but as, it's as I understand it. How many crows are with us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we just kill them? <laughs> yep. How many are? Just two. If you, there's two. But they're kind well, of badass, they will right? Them. Like, aren't they? Yep. They sort of badass. We had a grenade accident. But they're they're pretty badass. Define badass. Like, yeah, no, but no, there's no. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten You're of three us. Three thugs. We had okay. a grenade it, accident. It used to be six That's thugs. It. Now it's three thugs. So it's eight of us. Mm-hmm. We got we've got numbers. We also Why doesn't Lily equipment. just lead a group action to murder these guys? And we're like. And then they blame it on construction. It. Like the, we fought the red sashes. They, they didn't can, make it. Y'all are at war. On the, on the what was that lovely word? The doom fog. Yeah, that's yeah, the, the doom fog. And and the fog and, and there was a ghost. All right, let's do it. I'm totally behind we're this. Lo- we're lucky to get out with our lives. I mean, I'm curious though. But how are we getting out? It. I mean, right they're now. dead now, but they saw I, it. Yeah, I really like to know how we're getting out first before we just start committing it's to true, 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 killing. True, yeah. Yeah. The fog's coming the way you came, so you have to have a different way out. Yeah, that's go out the front door. Um, well, I get inside, and I immediately try finding something that can can patch up the hole. I'd really like to avoid doom fog swallowing my body. To, to confirm, I don't think we can make it airtight. Like fog. Apple is... mentioned <laughs> doom fog. Was that like a? <laughs> Apple mentioned doom fog. Was that like a trap, or was that the result of you know banishing Ghosty McGhost back to the Nether Realm? Like... I don't know. Is a hurricane a trap? It's just part of the sewers. Okay. Simple. All right, cool. <laughs> just, just why you drift? I don't know. You don't live in the sewers. Like, why would you? <laughs> You're especially not down here. You know. Uh, so okay. I turned to the I turned to the crows. And I'm like, all right, we can't go what back are, that way. You're in the sewers of the sewers, in other words, right? Like that's how far down you are. Like nobody goes down this these levels. This is where ghosts and shit live. This is bad. This is bad area. That's coming from you all. You're all types. <laughs> uh, I turned to the crows that we're with, and I'm like, all right, we can't go back that way. How do we get out of here? We better go through the sewers. We're going to fight our way up through this place. Look at all we, of this. We can't go this back through the sewers. Imagined. Lisa's going to be so proud. Good work. <laughs> Do those crows um, they're, know it is... Sorry, keep continue. Well, I was going to say, like, uh, I think that the crows would be, like, uh, to sever, like, really great, like, great work there, buddy. Um, like, more than the rest of your crew. Like, I would imagine that, uh, they, you know, the, crow, the crows have, have noticed, and I'm sure you'll be getting a good tip out of this. Do... Do the crows know that that is quote unquote? You said no one comes down here, so they would not know that it is doom fog. Yeah, how do, how yeah, are they no. reacting to the doom fog? Yeah, because I was like, uh, hey, how do we get out of here? This and is like, perfect because we, we get the fuck out of here. Great job. Uh, sorry, like so, I'm not like role playing specifically what they're saying, uh, gotcha, right? But gotcha, but gotcha. contextually, yeah, they're like, good. Like I don't want to deal. I don't know what that fog is. I don't want to deal with it. You all are really good. Uh, this that could have been real bad, uh, and and you all you all just sped right through here, especially this one here. That. But that doesn't answer. That doesn't answer the question. No. How, how do we get out of here now? Okay, I have an idea. So I have to improvise, and, son. Yeah. So there's no Kuma uh, and Fox look for a way. Yeah, I'm, out. I was gonna say I'm. I'm gonna be doing that. Let's we'll see yes, what we babe, have. You look for a way out, Mitch. Okay. You know ghost stuff, and I'm persuasive. Can I convince them with you backing me up, saying yeah, sure thing? He's totally legit, and say, guys, okay, what that is right there, it is a. I don't know. It, it, it is a life fog. It doesn't. It doesn't interact with the physical realm. If it touches a physical person, it just it ceases. Obviously, they're going to fucking die. But it means we don't have to murder them. There is there is a wave of of rats running away from it. And if rats are running away from it, it's probably not good it's to probably be bad. too. Okay. What, about that, what about that ghost that went through the walls? Uh, but I, the, I can tell you, you can study room? it. You could study it to get a better effect of like what it's doing to the rats. But like. You know, like just objectively looking at it, you, it doesn't take an expert to realize, you know, like if a chlorine glass, a gas cloud was coming at you, you would know not that's bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like Scratch you that. don't know the composition. You don't know if it's a living thing. You don't know what it is other than that's not good. Actually, now that you say that, I feel like it's a very sever thing to do to just like snatch a rat from the ground and study it. Uh, sciencey, sure. Sciencey, sciencey method. You want to go wave, wade into... So you're gonna leave a vault that you all are really like chippy in that you just broke into perfectly, 
to be like, one second, I'm really curious about these rats. Would you uh, tell well, there's a there's a not. hole. We haven't we haven't. I'm a uh, I want to I want to hunt. So you're hunt in. Like, together, to me, gather to information. Me it like you're all are in. I want to gather information yeah. about my location. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I've, got, I've got survey. We're we're in, right? So there's got to be a way out of the vault that we just got into. Mm -hmm. Position. There's like a, a big old. Hold on. So before before you roll, Bubs, mm -hmm. just to give you a picture, like yes, there. Imagine if you would, there is a giant sealed door, um, down the corridor in the vault. Like you're in the you're in a bank vault right now. Okay. You you came in through the side of, right? Because you were you were in the secured part of the secured part of the vault. Okay. Um, so there's there's a like a cage, like a metal kind of cage blocking a, a entrance into what would be almost like a vestibule area with lock boxes. So you're right. like a, on the other side, and then there's the giant like kind of like spherical vault lock that sure. you would imagine, or like a, a rectangular vault box. Um, so rather than deal with all of that, you just came in through the bedrock. Yeah. Um, so yes, you could go out that way, but no, the other answer is we're gonna go the other way down the sewers. Other than go left down the sewers, you're all gonna go run, run down right and and figure out a way up to the street. Cause you have to figure out you have to audible. Okay. So we also want to get to the, the brick treasure, pile, yeah. right? But the treasure isn't a problem; it's getting out is the problem. But we also want to get to the brick pile. This is the brick pile. You're this in the, the vault. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. So right. Sounds like you're do that. rather mm. rather than direct yes, attacking right. mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. this old like fortified stone compound. Uh, the red sashes that sit in you just attacked it from the bottom in a way that they never expected so they didn't even know it was possible to be honest the the ghost that i had that i like walked through the wall he's not we don't see him in the room when we come in even though he led us that way um but he's still following my command of you know protecting the name you. wasn't like vulture yeah, he's protecting you from like from sort of spiritual effects right yeah yeah right now there's no there's no ghost hunting you Right. Um, I was thinking about what would what would it sound like if a ghost fought another ghost? Whoa! <laughs> in in the in the ether, no, would it um, would it make a sound? Would you have to tune to see it? I, I imagine you would imagine. see. I'm kind of disturbed why you're asking that question. I'm asking you because you're the you're the um, ghost expert. I if, think if anyone knew, it would be you, right? I think it would. I think it would make. What did the gondoliers tell you? They told me that it sounds like nails on a chalkboard, but like twelve octaves lower. Sure. Just Ooh, this, just nice. this, this vibration that like gets into your soul, but like, and people like normally don't hear it except for when there's like major battles in the aether. Sometimes those clashes make enough of that sound to where it'll break through, and you'll get. Especially around like spirit wells, sometimes yeah, you'll get these these like, weird, uh, cerebral like fuzzy back of your head nails on a chalkboard, but like base nails on a chalkboard. Uh, there's some like poor old uh, crow's foot person, you know, drinking tea or whatever, and like gently rattles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Like T Rex glass of water style. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So yeah, so you would hear it. Uh, right now, you don't hear anything. Um, which is good. The so to be clear, event, you're, you're, saying, you're saying there's no way for us to go back, or is it like a split path? Like the, is the fog coming path. down one way? Yeah. So so imagine your the sewers that you came into mm -hmm. aren't just they don't terminate at this wall. You're basically here. Let me just draw real quick, right? Draw for it, y'all. Uh, so don't I think I think I'm we're overthinking it, right? So. Well, he's doing that, but it sounds that. like it sounds like your hunt roll is going to be hunting for a path forward. Like, leave the vault now that we know the hole's there, yeah. and like run ahead of the fog. That's the goal. I was just waiting on uh, position and and what have you. <clears throat> right. So, like, you came in, came in this way. On mm -hmm. the vault, so like you know, you're in the sewers. You came down the sewers. This is you. You you only had to go a little bit, get into the sort of main thoroughfare area. Um, so like right in the front of the rookery, right? You you only had to go a little bit to go into this main sort of giant vaulted thoroughfare sub highway of the sewers uh, to get to the vault. And the vault wall was kind of off to the side here. 
So yes, um, this green square where you came in now is also sort of where the black cloud is. So you could go the other way or fight your way through the vault or figure out a way through this cloud to go back the way you came. Bob, what do you want to do? You want to keep going? Well, Time's right. on your side right now. Time's yeah. an ally. Um, but I you want to hunt. You want to hunt because what? So as, um, what's your intent? I want to hunt. I want to follow the rats. I want to see where the. I want to see where the rats are going right now. Ooh, yeah. They're, they're okay. Uh, without a, you don't need a roll to know that. Okay. They are escaping the cloud. <clears throat> right, but like, are they running into the vault with us, or are they, oh. they finding new exits? Yeah, um, they haven't made it really to the vault yet. Um, they're kind of like just running and they're keep trying to stay in front of it, right? Um, the cloud's moving as fast as it can and the rats are trying to get out of its, you know, as fast as they can too. Okay, all right then. Um, but yeah, no, you can see them like any 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 chance. So it's like you kind of like look at and study it for a minute. And you can see that any any chance for them to climb and then get any higher, they're, they're fighting over each other to climb and crawl it and go into any sort of cracks and crevice away from this cloud. Okay, so our options are either we go west through the cloud, which is where we came from, mm -hmm. out the vault door, and therefore into the further into the brick pile where the red sashes are, or east into the unknown. Yeah. So uh, if you wanted to say... Oh! Bubs, Do it. <laughs> so, so, Bubs, it, it sounds like, though, you wanted to see, like, are the rats going in a direction that you can use as an escape route? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay, then yes. I okay. can survey also. Sorry, you... I, I had to think about what you were asking. Oh, but no yeah. problem, no right. problem. I don't mind reiterating. Um, yeah. Would you like me to hunt for this, or am I just kind of following? Um, no, I just to, to figure out one of those, because they're going in all sorts of directions right yeah. now, so you to like find the one that would actually work for everybody mm -hmm. would require a roll. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's let's hunt. Let's do um, it. Hunt position? So you're, you're tracking the rats. Yeah. Uh, controlled? Controlled standard? Um, effect is standard. Um, can I push myself? Uh, yeah, totally. You totally can. Okay. I will take the stress to push myself. And stress. Yeah. I really don't want to fuck this up. I'm hoping that the east. Does somebody assist him? Does anybody have good hunt? No, I've got survey. That's Wait a minute. Um, will I get? Take hold on. I've help? got. I've got. Um, can Hoagie help? Um, Hoagie can't give you confer a die, but yeah, do you want to use Hoagie to help you out here? Yeah, if I can, yes. Yeah. Sure. Um, then I think your your effect would be great. Okay, then I need to re-roll that. You're likely so. to get what you want here. Let's Hunt. see what the rolls. Position is controlled. Standard is great. Submit. Bonus die one. Submit. I say a five. Um, so you succeed at a cost. Okay. Yes. Um, so I think I think the answer here is that yes, you you think you see a route. Um, however, um, the the problem here is that it is a little bit close to the, it's closer to the fog. Um, so if you wanted to go down that route, uh, so let's 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 describe what this route would look like here. Um, let's say it. Um, I think of like kind of what would be. What it kind of look like? I think it's like an old. You have to like climb up an old metal, uh, like a oh, not like electric fence. It's almost like an early version of a lightning barrier, mm. uh, that's been deactivated. Mm. Um, so think of something that looks almost like a Tesla coil with lines going off of it that are like would be also electrified. Um, and I think like going up that way to get you up to like a chasm, and I think you can see maybe like there's a little alcove or something like that. Like you see these rats kind of like scurrying up. Um, this sort of old fence um, or like this ruin basically um, but that kind of goes up to a small little uh, not like a me not quite a mezzanine but almost something that would be like a vent kind of uh, small alcove question and if rats are using it um, that that might be your way out right um how we go if we had to venture a guess how far are we from above the city <sighs> Five feet? Uh, how deep are subways um, not sure. Like, thousand, a thousand feet down. That's that too deep. That I feel like, like that's what they are in the deep. Pacific Northwest. But I don't they're know. Pretty, like, okay, like five hundred or so. Yeah. Um. So like, if I were deep. if I were to climb straight up, it would be five hundred feet before I hit the streets. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Yeah, you guys are really, really, really far mm. down. How, no. how You're in the sewers come? of the sewers. This is Tomb Raider shit. Yeah. I got it. I got yeah. it. Wait, Eric, uh, I can use an item that would directly help with this, right? Like, if I have something that would help with this, do I have to make a roll to use the uh, item? Can you, can you clarify what this is? Okay, so I have my oh, friend right. who's is a master, master arch architect, and I also have blueprints as an item. Yeah. Um, are they? And I could probably just be like, hey, Coomer, like, look in the book. And there's a there's a there's a fold out blueprint. I feel like that's map complex map of the sewers would make more sense because you're looking for unless this is the building unless you're calling out the building that that's supposed to be here. This is this is like an entrance into that building, like a like an old. Yeah, this is like when you pull up the uh, this is like uh, the first Matrix movie when he's like, hey, I need the main wet wall, right? Yeah. This okay. is this is that because we're like, okay, we kind of know what this yeah. looks like. We know what the building looks like above mm -hmm. us. And it, it might confirm. Yeah, it's a know. um, it's a prestigious gambling hall above you. Mm. Um, right. So it's like you're going in through like an like a, a completely unused version, like use of, of like an old ancient casino. I'm really thinking of something like, not like Tammany Hall, but uh, something something that would be like an extremely extremely old, uh, just an institution of of Duskfall. Uh, that's been in the like Red Sash's control for, for forever. Then, if I know yeah. this, if, if I can get back to them and tell them that I've, I think I found a way, um, then yeah, I will. You absolutely did. But my goal was to try to find a way to vent, um, maybe into a different chamber so that the fog has more room to roam away from us, or even vent upward. But if we're 500 feet down from the surface, I don't have that much demolition tools. Yeah, no, it's it's it just seems to just move down this path. Uh, it's kind of following, so you know, you're in a sewers, right? So there's yeah. it's sort of following a stream, right? It sits above yeah. the stream and just moves. Then, um, so yeah, so in other words, you found a good path, it's not going to be super easy to get to, it's going to require like prowling, probably, and tra you know, traversing your way up through it. Sure, um, that's kind of what I was describing. So, like, you found a path, but it's going to take a little bit of effort, but yeah, you're, you're you got it. That's what your five gives you. Okay, you can, um, you can always resist that, by the way. No, I think it makes it interesting. Um, you can resist. Okay, yeah, you could resist it and be like, "Fuck you, Eric." There's an easy staircase up to it, or like, you know, <laughs> there's something there's, you know, that doesn't require a roll or anything. We like get, that. We get really plus good. one to resistance rolls. Yeah, you can resist anything in the game. Be like, that's oh, fine. I, I didn't even but realize I we had a bonus and... to it. Um, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait it. I, I think I still have some tools and things like that that we can utilize. Uh, in sure. our, in our way. Then, out. based off of what you said, Eric, can we get Fox? lead a group prowl action because she's really good at prowling like the like the cougar that she is <laughs> um yeah. and then that would get us all out of there mm -hmm. based on based so on that yes but here's here here's where things are going to get complicated a little bit Damn it. um you all are going to need to start exchanging some potential gear slots for this money that you're hauling out Ooh, of here. Shit. Okay. Well, demo tools are gone. So, there's 14 coin. Um, the yeah, is one person gonna be carrying a lot of it? I um, came, I came heavy, and I have four slots left. I'll just take four coin. And um, kind of um, narratively do carry, that. Carrying Your money. Thugs could carry a the probably. Thugs, carry. thugs could carry about five. Carrying money sort of sounds like my alley. Like, yeah, it's like the giving it back later part is, that you're not so good. This at. is the monopoly man, yeah, like yeah, yeah. bag sack of money that you have that you're carrying out of here, right? Yeah, I'll give it back. Of course, you guys trust me. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> fine. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll carry it. Yeah, I, I will take this. I will bail. So convert this very yeah. heavy burden. Okay. So convert some of your load that you would have as money, right? That's what you're carrying. Uh, One per load. Oh, I yeah. could do that. But yeah, it's like a big old bag of coins. Yeah, I can do that too. Right. Po it's coins, poker chips. Well, let's not, let's let like our gems kill with my like that, hand. Right? Let's let our uh, our our dude bros oh. take some, um, so they can take five. You can also yeah. six because uh, for all intents and purposes, like like the hard part of the score is actually over because with that crit, uh, except for kind of getting out of here, I would allow you to be like, well, I'm gonna take a heavier load. Like if you want to option yourself to take a heavy load, you have more slots to carry more coin right now. It would make sense, right? I'm just gonna overburden yourself here and and be kind of slow. Um, I'm gonna pass my climbing gear to uh, to Fox to improve her her role. 
Um, but Ooh. that should free me up right away so I can take three. I'll take three and then five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's in it. That's it. Okay. You have three, I have three, our Fair crew enough. has five. Can, just write can you all write in roll twenty real quick, like who has what? Like in numbers. That's a load. It. it should be it should equal fourteen. Mm. Um there's also a remember, there's also a fine disguise kit. There's uh probably three loads worth of weird drugs you could write. There are the drugs, variant strains. The drugs. Um but this this again, this will require you to convert gear to these to this Smooth. stuff. You should grab that disguise. This is this is an unconventional yeah, blades thing to do. Uh, that I, I like it. Sure. This is this is like more of like the torch bearer thing to do in the game, but I'm I'm here. I want to do this. Yeah. So it's yeah. um you said three sacks of drugs, so that would be three slots. Yeah. Okay, um, I can do that. That's so many drugs. It is. It's it's literally imagine like various different vials of uh so they oh, what's it called? It's the red drug. Uh it's not a blood something. Um, but they're different strands of they're like experimenting with blood needle like blood needle thank you um yeah, they're, they're different strands of blood needle um <laughs> first you know, obviously kilos. you don't know what they are right this one's like, a but sativa but, but this you can, one's an yeah. indica <laughs> <laughs> yeah no no th that's exactly what it is though uh like the red sashes are very diligent and they've been they've been uh convert trying different strands essentially of, of, of the blood needle see which ones for their dens is is the best ones they can cut you know that kind of stuff right this one's a nice hybrid mm -hmm. for afternoon mm -hmm. use oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely taking those. Can we make the uh, the crows carry the last of the coin? Um, that would leave sure, three left. Three coins. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, five, uh, five. Yeah, because right? it's eleven total. Well, I've got three. You've got three. Your cohorts have five. I believe three left. Oh, there's three left. Yeah, we'll give them three. Okay. Yeah, yeah they, they, they can split. They can split up three. No problem. Cool. <clears throat> cool. I'm gonna get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Fox, um, lead the way. Save okay. us. Cool. Um, so you all have to like, you go across one of those little like metal planks. It's not like the bridge of Kazadun, right? Like it's not that bad, but um, you know, it's it's a very very old rickety clank support, uh, small personnel bridge that that crosses the the this chasm of, of water and stuff that you've been kind of climbed up over, and you're going to this old ruined electric fence kind of to climb up here. So just to give you a, a good scene as you are going to make this roll, Lily. Tell us, tell us what it's like. Do you feel confident about this? Oh my god, I feel so confident about this. Are you kidding me? Good. You, you guys, I imagine us like right all. I imagine us all also like tied together. Yeah. I picture it like you know, a like cutesy like... wootsy little anime walk, like <laughs> tiny baby me, like that. This... What's that one with the cats where they're playing all the music instruments? They're like ba 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 ba. <sighs> that that whatever. <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm talking about, but it's really fucking cute. This score probably just won the war for the crows. Well, I mean, you all you all well, aren't like super plugged into the politics of of what's going on with the Warwick's war per se, but uh, I think it's pretty safe to say. That you don't a, clip, a crippling blow the red sash's efforts in Bagley. Yeah, fourteen so, like, coin and a whole. That should, in that should be in your mind. Yeah. So, question though. Yeah, what's up? This, um, these heights that we're at, someone could fall to their death. Oh, yeah. easily, <laughs> very yeah. easily. All right, I'm just putting that out. We could. Sure. Uh, and lose three coin. They'll lose three coin though. Oh, All right, so what am I rolling? Is it risky? Sorry, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, let me ask you. Uh, what are you are you climbing just for yourself? Yes. Okay. There's um, no one attack. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, you should, I'm you just should do the thing I'm where you do like first. the lead the lead climb, and you like sure. set pinions as you go, and then we just follow the rope up to make it easy, right? Yeah. Like group action style. So I can't carry all of you. I'm but a four nine woman. So, so yeah, so you're what you're gonna do, you're gonna climb up ahead of everybody and kind of set up the route to help people. That's what I'm hearing, right? That's what yeah. Fox is doing. Correct. Awesome. Um, so let's risky standard. Standard should go up, right, with the climbing gear. Uh, yeah, uh, it goes risky. Great. And, and bonus die if, is. If she does this, then do we all like this? Is, this is setting you up. Yeah. Setting us up. Okay. The rest of you. So do I only get a bonus die for the climbing gear? No, the bonus no. die is giving you the great effect. So it's just one. For, there should be no bonus, bonus die. You should have two. You should have a bit, yeah, at least two. If you want to push yourself, you can get a bonus die. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. So you I should have just, two dice, yeah, I... and then if you push yourself, you'll get one bonus die. So three total. So, so you have two dots in prowl, 
right? Yeah. So so starting off, you're rolling two dice. Okay. Okay. And it's risky great. Uh, you're yeah. asking how to get another, another die. Well. Well, you got a five. Um, <laughs> normally, but it's okay. Because we haven't sorry. played in a while, and it's okay. To get another die, you could spend two stress right now to get yourself another die. Oh, that would have been nice. Yeah. I thought it was one. I put the stamp to the four okay. stress. Uh, you can you can still do it. Like you're still learning the game. Okay. So just eat eat two stress and, okay. um, and roll, roll another die. Okay. Just roll a d6. Look, that's much better. You don't get to roll three d dice. <laughs> three more. <laughs> I, I uh, hit you take, one. You take the first right. one. I don't... Yeah, what? you hit one. You were one bonus die in addition yeah. in conjunction. Uh, what he was saying, Lily, was that you just two. instead just like manually roll one more dice instead yeah. of oh. rolling all three again. One more prowl with one die, just, just one die, one extra die. But you already did it. You, you still got a five. five and a four. Take the five. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, you know, I it's, can't. it's fine. Just no, no, no. You got a five. five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we did fine. it. We succeeded. Yeah. On a controlled. Yeah, controlled great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's go with the. Okay, so you so you succeed at a cost. Um, cost is we unfortunately yeah. lost one of the crows. They <laughs> fell to their death. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm great, sorry. Great. No, I don't think that that will be it. I think the answer is, um, I'm just gonna mark one more to the doom clock. Oh, so it's fuck. one out of six. You're fine. It just gets closer, right? Um, I we're, think at this point, hit. yeah, I, you're you're still pretty pretty ways ahead of it. Um, you can see that, yeah, like some of the slower rats that have been like touched by the the, the mist have have grown old like almost instantaneously, and then they get consumed by, by the mist. You don't hear them or anything anymore. Ooh, it's probably fine. Hey, that's probably, fine. Okay. Yeah, it's probably fine. It's like, it's like fine. Raiders of the Lost Ark shit. That's yeah. awesome. I'm down. Cool. So, um, it was a Raiders? It was. <laughs> get the fuck it, out of here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's go. Uh, okay, so I'm going, I'm going to need like a group action for everybody to get out of here, right? Somebody, somebody's going to lead... Um, the group of thugs and the rest of you up, or you're gonna do it individually? Like how, how are you all getting out of here? So Lily, right now you're up, you're at the top, right? Yeah. So you set you set up the course for people. Um, you showed them where to go, and you're waiting up on. And you can see from your vantage point, right? There's sort of like this little access tunnel um, that leads further up, um, perpendicular to the mist and stuff. So you're you'd kind of be safe. You won't okay. necessarily be at the surface yet, but like you're you're or you're away from the the doom mist for sure. There's also like a steady stream of rats kind of going up into here. That's probably fine. <laughs> Fucking gross. Can can we can can Lily lead a group prowl action for us to get up there? Because she's got the best best prowl and the least. You just set you all up. Okay. No, you do some of the work here, Whip. Sure, I'll roll my <laughs> zero prowl for the leader of a group action. It's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm at one, right? I've got I've at least have one in prowl. <laughs> Yeah. If you want to lead it, we get we get plus one effect or improved position, right? Because she set us up. So, what does that put us at? What's our what's our baseline? Sure. Yeah, what um, the baseline is risky, um, and I think it's going to be limited uh, because you all are heavy. Um, the coin all and everything yeah. weighed down with, with coin. Fuck. Okay. Um. I really want some bonus die here. Um, yeah, for sure. Can I get... I can take stress. Yep. Push yourself for one die, for sure. Yeah. And... Well, someone leaving a group action... One stress be... gives someone a die as well. Sorry, three. Three. Can anybody do that? Is anybody looking good on stress? That want to lend a die or aid? Can we do... Can we do, like, a round robin? You've looked at the ghost. One stress. <laughs> yeah. A piece. <laughs> So hold on, Eric, <laughs> clarifying question. I'm confused because we're talking about Kumar making a roll right now and we're talking about assistance and pushing self and bonus die. Yeah, someone can help someone lead a group action. That's <sighs> oh, I didn't possible. know somebody could help somebody lead a group action. Okay, cool. Yeah. I did not know that. Okay, so I, is anybody willing to help me to give me the bonus die? It's going to take some stress. As long I... as I also get assistance. Can, yeah, it, can be, it be you'll daisy be, You'll chains? be part of the group action. 
because we can what we can do is that he'll make the role as the leader of the group action and we'll all this roll is, the same action and he's going to take stress for us yeah. because it's a group action we're all going to benefit from this role. yeah yes the stakes mm-hmm. of the role is that this is the entire group that gotcha. we think right in one role all right Probably minus fox individually the or that yeah. correct so everyone minus fox uh would be liable in this group action. this is put me at three dice is there anything at all that i can do to push this to a fourth die i don't Thanks. You're rolling so, this for everybody? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um How are you lift how so are you are, is this the situation where you're like gonna be the last one up as you're like getting everyone up out of here? Like that was is that what this is gonna look like if it's all on your shoulders? Does that mean literally everybody's climbing up over your shoulders? Oh, I like the idea that Fox goes to the top and like sets up a thing and Coomer's at the bottom and he's like belaying everybody kinda. And, and he and then he's the last one, because he then he has a hand in all of our You're boosting everybody up. Yeah, boosting like everybody up right. and being the safety. If there's one thing that Coomer's good at doing, it's that he's got the shoulders for it. So yeah, okay, yeah, I like this roll. So you have three dice. Is there anything you do? So you're asking if there's anything you do to get a fourth die? Yes, to get an, an additional bonus die. Uh, no. If if you push yourself to get a die, you can ask for a devil's bargain. Yeah, you can't put yourself and devil's bargain. Right? <laughs> I'd love to hear what a devil's bargain would look oh. like. Oh, give me my baby. Okay. So what we could what we could do is Lily either sets us up as Fox for position or effect, and we could just take position, which is kind of the same as getting a die because the failure is less bad when you do position. I don't know. Sorry. Um, Devil's bargain could be um, the red sashes. There was something uh, you left something in the. Uh, explosion or in the vault where the red sashes would definitely know it was your crew. Get them. I've got a, I've got a really sad devil's bargain, and I don't want to say it. Do it. I'll say it. Do it. What is it? We've gone X, like we've gone so far up at this point, and the the leader line rope breaks from my back, and Hoagie falls back to the <sighs> sewer. What's? Oh my goodness! That was the devil's bargain. The devil's bargain would be losing Hoagie. Well, uh, if you if you have if you take the devil, devil's bargain, that means you can't push yourself. It. If you're already pushing yourself, you can't take a devil's bargain. You get one or the other. So if you're willing right. to eat the stress, that's that's easier. We don't yeah. have to bargain with the devil. You get you don't get yeah. both. Okay. Yeah. Are you just gonna eat the stress? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take the stress. Yeah, that's better than saving. Oh, thank God. I love it, you monster. <laughs> okay, here we go. Fingers yeah. crossed. Oh my God. But we can, but we get to still roll. We get to all still roll. Everybody has to <laughs> no, roll. Flat and prowl. No, no. <laughs> this was this was the roll. Oh, I thought you said we could. He, <laughs> you could assist on a group on a group action. No, he Shit. was. I asked Bubs if this was a group action. He's like, no, I'm doing it for everybody. Oh, no. Oh. So Fuck. here's oh, what happened. Boy. Okay. Resist the consequence. I'm definitely gonna fucking try. There's a few. There's a few <laughs> consequences. Um, for starters, one, box. You're shot. I'm shot? As a shot. A shot gets wrung out from the sewers. <laughs> uh, I'm shot? As, as red, you are shot. You are shot. You and t- you're going to take level three harm as a red sash's volley uh, from the vault um, where you guys were leaving has, has <gasps> just hit, and you get hit, hit the worst. That's consequence number one. Consequence number two. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> I thought this just happened. Bubs, oh, as as you're getting ready to go, um, the sh- the and. As you're getting ready to boost the first person up, take uh, take your pick. Um, but one of the per- one of the people in your crew with um, the coins um, is going to uh, have to end up dropping their coins into the into the deep parts of the sewers. They m- maybe they're not completely gone. Like you have to look up, but spend time to go grab them, um, which make it a bit more complicated for people. That's consequence number two. And consequence number three uh, would be. Um, the fog advances. Mm. Did, just so, did, did, I, did the two out of did anyone? Seven. Did anyone touch my stuff? So you make three pro. So, so there's a lot to chew on here. So one, boxes as collateral is going to take harm. Uh, collateral two, um, bubs, you get to pick, um, either panic or or um, one of the cohort. Or Gee for their cohorts, somebody is going to end up uh like as they take cover, 
is going to basically lose their coins unless they want to spend an action to try to grab them, uh, making things, slowing things down. And then consequence three is the fog advances. Um, okay. So can you resist any of these consequences? You can resist, you yeah, can resist yeah, yeah, yeah. any or all of them. Okay. But so each of those requires a resistance roll here's, separately. Here's People the thing. can step up and protect too. Here's the thing. Right? That's, that's, that's what I want. I, I want to see if I can um, utilize the girth here. You rolled a two and a one. So yeah, yeah, this yeah. is why this is, this is what Right, it right, right, right. I want to see if I can utilize Coomer's girth and block the shot on Fox if I can. Sure. I'll bodyguard it. Um, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So instead, so like as they get the aim, you're like, no, over here. like Or like something, right? And yeah, instead you're the one who, who ends up taking the worst of it. Okay, then I'll. So you're resisting. Do it. You're resisting that. Yeah. So level three harm coming your way. All right. So I resist. Oh man, I can't remember this one. What's um, um, I'm gonna get one from bodyguard. Can... Um. First and... off, you don't have to spend stress if you have armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, you can knock that level three to level two if you have just normal armor. You normally, I think you like hard right that you have heavy armor. Uh, generally, yes. But is that true? Or did you take it off for money? Um, I, I I, put it down. Okay, now it's fucking up. I have the two points. Um, I don't have three. I put it at two so I could get um, as much max load as I could. No, you have three. Uh, you have improved armor for this assault. This, oh. That was from two weeks ago. You have high, higher tier armor. I'm sorry. Oh. Wait. No, 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 no. I misspoke. Uh, it's My notes are wrong. It's You have one level of armor that counts as two as heavy. It takes one load, but it, it counts as two heavy because it's improved SWAT armor for this mission. Perfect. Okay. So then uh, that was a gift from the crows for this mission. Excellent. It's, All right. You're literally wearing like undercover tactical, tactical gear, gear. Like, yeah, tactical yeah, yeah. armor. Okay. Right. So then I I definitely want to roll to resist. Um what yeah, am I rolling really. to to resist exactly? Is that a fortune? Um no, it would probably be prowess as you prowess fight to to take it on the chin. If you want to use up both of your armors for this, then it, you're resisting a level 1 harm. Right? Um so armor armor takes you down. You just spend literally one point of armor per level of harm. So one for one. So your level 3 can be like boom, level 2, boom, level 1. Your armor is spent it's useless, and then you can resist prowess and knock it from level one to nothing. So it's already coming out as level three, but because of my tough as nails, it's going to level two. I can turn it to a level one, just with one one point. Um, yeah. Tough of nails mechanically treats level three harm as level two, but still level three harm. It takes level three slot resisting, it. but the effects of level three harm is that you can't do anything unless someone helps you. Mm, gotcha. All right, that then... doesn't apply to you. All right, then... Does that make sense? Uh, it That's does. That's what that ability does. It does. But you can't take a level four harm. Level four harm is you're dead. Is you're dead. Yeah, all right. So then... Yeah. Most certainly. Um, then I'm going to dot it down right away. I'll at least take off the one point of armor. I don't know if I'm going to need the second point, yeah, so... I mean, yeah. You are you take you take Infilad Fire uh, right, right, right to you. So it's going to put me at two, this. and then I'd like to resist. Um, so that's good. And um, Lily can also use armor, right, to like reduce oh, some of her harm. Lily's not going to take the harm. It's me. Oh, Humor's, you're Humor's eating it. Yeah. Humor is okay. using. Um, he's going to step up and protect. Uh, gotcha. To do that, he protect, he attack, but remen reminds everyone he's still a snack. Pff, no stress. Look at that. Um, no fear. Zero. So you spend both. So you you spend both your armor and one. you resist um, prowess. It was one. Okay. I spent one on armor. So then then you just write level one um shot or or you know like n scratch from a shot like near near miss or something right. Okay. Um, I think that's you know, gone. Cut. Near miss. Grazed. Grazed is the answer. Grazed, that's thank the word. You. Yeah. Grazing shot. Um, but grazed. Yeah. Um. So there's like, you know, it feels like you got punched in the chest. Uh, as there, you know, you feel the armor eat some of the, those nice rifled shells that the uh, blue, uh, not the blue, the red sashes have. Okay. Um, if I hear yeah, them, yeah, you, I'm definitely going to try to to to, you think, to block. You think it. you're reinforced like shitty uh, goat leather, like you know, armor that you normally wear, or like you're like you know, that's basically just pots and pans would not have stopped <laughs> this, right? But uh, uh -huh. you know, you're very lucky for this armor. Um, yeah, so you just write level one harm, um, but it has no effect. Because you treat level one harm like you don't care. Yeah, it's tis but a flesh wound. Cool. Um, so that's, and then that's that's consequence number one. One, correct. Two, I think, 
um, because we have our, let me scroll back up. We've got our cohorts carrying the five. Um, I want to, I think narratively, this makes sense if panic, uh, panic stumbles because of his, uh, his leg injury. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. I'm not so gonna, I'm not people, gonna resist it. I can't. People die for cover, right? Uh, panic gets knocked over and just ding, like, like, like a Sonic, like Sonic got hit, right? Like you land on a spike, dude. Uh, just coins goes flying off. Some of them you hear the plunk in the the water. They like hit the. You see a bunch bunch bounce off some rats, uh, <laughs> and as you try to pick up as much as you can, but it's it's useless. Three coin gone. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, um, someone can step up and protect. Yes. Yeah. Hold on, I would like to do this. Yeah. Um, can we say like in the order of the of the climb? Whip is above sever. Sure. Okay, yeah. so uh, I am going to... So I see this coin bag just falling, right? And instinctively, I want to roll my prowess to quickly throw... Um, I'm going to extend my last part, my last um, bandolier slot here okay. to throw some drift oil at the bag as it's, it's falling. Oil. It creates a neutral buoyancy when poured on an object, causing it to float in the air for an hour. So, so I'm basically just trying to like money splash back. it to like stop it from falling and then okay. like that's, that's fancy, fucking yeah. awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So Why did we do this to begin okay. with? That would have been amazing. Um so that's uh, it sounds like you're resisting with either insight or prowess. Definitely uh, pro yeah, either way it's three dice. So right. but I get a bonus dice for resisting stuff, right? Yeah. You technically tell me what you're resisting. Yeah, definitely prowess, because this is a speed. This is like lightning yeah, reaction right? of like, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> like I had it ready in my hand That's... just in case anything would fall. Yeah, exactly. But you, it's, rather than saving a person, mm. you have to do it now. Look at that. A six, just a casual, no stress, no problem. Mm. Money is floating there. Panic, you're able, uh, sorry, whip, you're able to grab it, no problem. So no, no money is lost. The three coins is still here. Um, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And what about this third one here? Um, but we're two, two out of six, right? Now, if we if we accept it on the uh, on the, you said it was going to tick the the wall forward. Yes. I don't know if I can. Take it. <clears throat> Let's just take it. We still have four. We can resist it when we have to resist it. We're almost You're out assuming, anyways. Um, what I would say is that. Um, it's not a fair assessment to say that this clock does nothing until it hits six. Mm, that's fair. What are we at now? We're at, this we're at one. At, yeah, one. What is it, two? And you're one, I, which I, I just we, described I, some of those rats growing old really quickly. Can I, um, I'd like to, I'm, I'm going to try to resist it. This was my fub, so uh, I, I would like to try to resist that if I could. I don't sure. want to see this clock advance any further. So you're like, go! It's just like, go, yeah. fucking go! I may not be able you're to push like, everybody up, but I can definitely hold them like hold the line there yeah you totally fool? yeah yeah no this you you very much like like get up this fucking wall yeah absolutely oh this is so good i i have a such a good picture of this happening okay. awesome in my head um like the rope um, is shaking so, and all of us so are you're like, resisting yeah, so you're resisting with prowess right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right so you get um a, don't forget your bonus one for your crew yep all right um there we go. Oh, what? You literally reduce oh. you you clear oh. one stress. Feels good, That's man. Fucking crazy. amazing. So, uh, this roller coaster <laughs> I want to get off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you found your How many sixes, sixes tonight. Six, I did. six, 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 six. Yeah, that was six. Um, yeah. Well, so uh, that's what happens when there's a a very bad prowl roll. Um, and then you, you, I, I hit you as hard as I thought it was pop, like reasonable. And you were like, got it. No problem. Nah. Look at that. What a, you all are great. Good Coomer, job, even <laughs> reducing stress, Coomer is still pretty fucking stressed yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. I know. You guys are, no, like, this is super good. You guys are, you are really, that is so cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, <sighs> so, so, uh, let's, so for, for practical purposes, like, Sever's kind of halfway up this place. Uh, Lily, you, you know, uh, Fox had to like dive for a cover as like a ricochet shot goes by. Uh, most of them go on to Coomer. Um, Coomer like clearly got hurt, but he's doesn't doesn't seem to mind, and he's like go. 
you know, as you all are fly, <laughs> as, as you all have to go up there. Uh, so I'm going to, so, so not everyone's up this wall here. So I think it's, I have to ask again, what are you going to do? Uh, is this, is this Coomer making another roll to get everyone, boosting everyone up out of here? Um, Who's left? Hmm. I think we're all on the uh, wall it's at all this of, point. No, kind of no, all of you. All yeah, you're kind of like up, up. up this wall. Like, imagine you have to climb like maybe like a 30 to 50 foot like slanted wall. It's not completely flat at all. Like, it looks like to be like, again, like the early, the, the, this lower part here is like a, almost like a chain, not a chain link fence, but this sort of old electric fence. So like, there's like these like bars you can kind of climb up. And there's sort of like an old sidewalk at a certain part. And then like an old lamp post you can kind of climb on. And it's like, it's just like Duskfall is built these are the cities that before Duskfall, as is, right? That are just here, that are super, super, super old, right? Can I get an idea, just out of curiosity, like something? Who's yeah. who's where in like the the height lineup? I know, oh, I know, Whip is um, above Sever. I think Fox I think top. Fox can have final say, as they're the one, and she's the one who set up everybody. So like, but mm -hmm. you guys can place yourselves as you want. I don't, it's, I'm not super. I didn't, I didn't have a clear picture in my head. You guys are all kind of just, you know, vaguely in some order, um, not just not all up the wall yet. In my mind, it was Fox, Whip, Sever, Schmooze, and then insert random guys here, Coomer on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Five dudes. Yeah. Yeah, this is some mummy shit. Let's go. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Um... I mean, I can stomach it again. I'll go ahead and, and do the prowess roll. Even can though, I not to help? mention, not mm. to mention, now you all are you like there are red going to be red sashes return like shooting at you as you guys are going up, right? Yes, that makes sense. That's this can, is fine. Can I, I help at the same time? Like try to pull the rope. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna actually. Yeah, do you can anything. totally. Help. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. You Would you? I mean, we're gonna. Rolling. So we basically have people firing from above <laughs> and from below. No, like we're getting pincer um, attacked. No, no. It's, it's just below. Yeah, it's just, just from below. below. Yeah. Oh, because I oh, I thought somebody was shooting from where Fox was at Fox. So here. I can push uh, myself, Lily, but I, thought... I think you since you might have the higher um prowl, prowl, yeah. prowl here, this might be better coming from you. You you just statically have a better chance of succeeding. Okay. Let's do it. So Right. So like I kind of drew on the map kind of how I'm picturing it, right? Like so like this fog is is coming, it's green. Um you're getting shot out from the vault now and you guys had to like scurry over to the kind of this side area glowing. But it's rather than kind of going to the side, it's more like going up. Right? So you're you're trying to ascend up out of this out of the sewers down this this passageway that was sensibly lead to safety. Okay. Maybe this is more confusing than No, I don't I don't think it's that bad. Makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think eventually they're going to have to, if, yeah. if we fail to get up here, they're going to have to stop firing at, at us unless yeah, they want either, so, the fog so right to get now, them. right now, certain options you can do is like figure out a way to make it so you're not going to get shot at by, as you guys go up this way or um, just just book it and, and hope for the best and get everyone up there and under fire uh, or something else, right? Um, quick thinking, I don't know. I don't know if anyone has smoke grenades. I'm not sure. I have I grenades. Uh, <laughs> those bad boys. Conceal, conceal, that's what as I'm you thinking. guys get up there and smoke bombs uh, i have those too anything um, uh, you get to tuck a smoke bomb like down in, into the vault and give us time to clear out i'm gonna chuck both how about that uh... <laughs> i still have i still have another bandolier ready to go so tick 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 mm. um hmm yeah okay yeah all right, so smoke bomb first so they don't see the other grenade, and then they can, like, fucking just blast them in the face. Sure. Shrapnel. Uh, I will also say, at this point, um, at any point in, the, in these next rolls, if somebody wants to resist the effects from being shot at, um, Anik, I think the the ghost, the, the gangster ghost that you have, could count as armor, and you could spend it as he interrupts somebody. Okay. Dude, right? You yeah. can kind of like use it to protect you from physical harm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, treat that as a crew resource for the time being for the Sweet. focus of this heist now. Okay. All right. So, um, so the way that I'm seeing this is, uh, I see shots are being fired. We're all clinging onto this wall. You know, these people are are down there. We see like little, they look like little ants, I guess, firing up at us. Yeah. And I'm just like, 
you know, just timed it. And so like, you know, we track the, the grenade down and just like bust into smoke. And then I drop a further one to blast. Uh, so I'm going to roll wreck because I am wreaking chaos and yes. havoc. Uh, and I think I'm going to push myself. I'm going to take two stress. It's like a trailer for an EDM concert. <laughs> just smoke everywhere. <laughs> Oof. Uh, position desperate, I assume? Yes. But do you get increased effects since you're using the smoke bombs? Mm, no, because no, you're throwing the smoke bombs. I don't. I wouldn't. Okay. I would say they're kind of concurrent right now. Okay. This so, is, so, so you, yeah, this is one action to create concealment and hurt people by, by yeah. throwing two different things. That's why I'm saying it's it, it would be desperate. Um, desperate standard. Desperate standard. Okay. And don't forget to mark bonus. XP by the way for all these. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, I am. Uh, you bubs. <laughs> Crit! <laughs> Bo boof! Fuck your game, Eric. This is our game. We're, Very, we're the yeah. DMs now. You bury the shrapnel, red shrapnel goes everywhere. Rocks fall. <laughs> everyone dies. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. So hold on. Hold on. Panic, I think I think we have a callback from the beginning of the top of the show where you're like, "There's no way this is going to work." This is gonna work. <laughs> with the grenades <laughs> on the wall. Yeah. So like, as as we're climbing, I see what he's doing, and I look over his shoulder down at Schmooze. I'm like, "Okay, this is definitely this this is definitely not gonna work." Yeah. <laughs> and you just, just see like the no look toss. Yeah. 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 Um, and then, yeah, and then, so that is just a cloud of smoke and debris that there's... just kind of like floats right under Coomer. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So the vault is sealed again from your grenade. The second thing that you hear <gasps> then is the sound of that deep nailed chalkboard as anyone in there is getting killed by a ghost. Hmm. Good shit. You guys are good. Perfect. I think maybe all you see besides the sound is a little bit of like frost in the smoke. Other than that, mm. good. yeah. Is this, is I this, think everyone is just this sees. We're good. Like cut to us coming up out of a manhole. No, you guys. You guys still. No, 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 no. You still have to prowl yourself out of here. We're just not getting shot at while we. Yeah, do. you're not getting shot uh, at. Anything. Um. So yeah. So everyone just sees like after that entire explosion just like settles and you just hear like little chunks of rock that are, like the last chunks of rocks that are like oh they're falling. Everyone just looks at Sever with his plague doctor mask and he like <laughs> thumbs up. Let's go. <laughs> Your show today. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. I love it. Kick ass. Um, I was expecting like Lily to shoot or anything, but now you're like, nah, I got this grenade. Like pretty much you're you're you have to be like almost out of stuff now, right? Oh yeah. Like, yeah you're yeah. like Batman, you're like running out of stuff and you're, <laughs> you're mm -hmm. Still oh, not, never run out. Oh, <laughs> well, technically, he has three load in this red thistle or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, his uh, blood needles. Yeah, yeah. No, that should be okay. fine. Um, I'm gonna need a little assistance, please. Mm -hmm. I'm at six, so either group action, someone does it all, just just like we did before. Bubs rolled, right? I think. I think Lily, um, Lily you're in a position to help people now because that's uh, yeah. no longer things have changed. And so, Lily, you have no stress, right? No, I have zero. You yeah. should lead a group. Uh, you should have one. You should have one stress. Oh, yeah, should, should I? I'm sorry. You should have one stress because I think you gave someone a die one time for help. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, and okay. helping helping causes stress. But you're fine. Okay. You should you should lead a group action for us to get out of here. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. So then, you prowl. You get. We all we all prowl. Okay, um, and then oh, right. and Fox would them. take mm -hmm. one stress for every failure. Mm. But we count; we all roll, <laughs> which is like a million dice, and we take the highest result. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right, it's well, a it's a guaranteed way for us to pretty much get out of here. Indeed. Famous last words: guaranteed. Well, uh, three. The uh, position me. is is going to be. It's not risky. It's desperate. Okay. And, okay. Uh, the default position that I would say is that it's limited. Okay, I'll just keep my roll. So three from me. Four. Oh yeah. It would have been standard if you. I mean, okay. For what it's worth, I I kind of I kind of lied to you. I'm sorry about that. Bubs, there was technically a fourth consequence, and I did it without saying. It was you made no effect. You made no progress getting up the wall. That's fine. Mm. Right, that's which fine. is why it's limited. Bubs just got six though, so that's great. 
<laughs> so you don't, you don't give you don't give up. Six more sixes. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh, I want to roll at least one die. Do you have a devil's bargain for me? Um, Can't take stress. Drop a coin. One single coin. Oh, I don't one have a coin. coin. Yeah. One bag of coin. Sure. I'll I'll pay one coin. Drop one load. You Easy. have to as you as you get the as you scout get out uh skedaddle up that one. Yeah. Rob. Desperate limited. Maybe um, like the float the float juice falls off and like it, it you weren't ready and it, it actually slips out as you're climbing or something. Yeah. yeah, your devil's bargain is you lose lose the coin. Okay. As it plummets. So success. So then schmooze, you gotta roll a prowl and fox, you gotta roll a prowl. Yes, so so far, you're only taking one one stress, Lily. Five. So far, you're only taking one stress. Uh, I have one prowl, so that's one bonus dice, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, you have one prowl, so you just roll oh, one prowl. die. Yeah, roll one. Not you bonus can, die, right. just push yourself just one. or yeah. bonus die or take it. Uh, no, I'm at six strength. Fuck that. Let's do it. <laughs> you're like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. Oh, oh God, what a legend. What a right, you legend. got six. Um, remember, these are all desperate rolls for y'all. Um, yeah. So, so the answer at the end of the result for the prowl is a six. Um, mm-hmm. However, it's limited. So this now, now everybody uh, is safely halfway up this thing, right? Or, or maybe a little bit more than halfway up. Humor, you have begun to make your own ascent up, right? Um, but due to a six, there's no consequences. It's just that this was this is the result of a limited. I just you just need to do it again. Mm. Right? So you, you, you didn't with for one roll here. It was just, there's not enough. Um, you couldn't you couldn't accomplish the whole thing in one go. Okay. So argumentatively, you can't, eat, you can't eat the whole cake in one bite. Right. If Fox were to shoot the two crows, there'd be less people <laughs> yeah. climbing, and it would be a lot easier to climb. It would be a standard, can't. yeah, because there's fewer people, yeah. And and they can't do anything about the fact that they're being shot. They're holding onto a rope. So worst case scenario, they let go and they fall. That's the mm-hmm. best case scenario. Double cross. You lose? you lose their coin. They return as ghosts. They tell. There's a lot. There's a lot riding on the line. Plus, no. they could fall and hit me. They, of all the ghosts, the ghosts yeah. rattle on you, off you. Uh, there's a lot of bad things that could happen. Yeah, that's a no from me. All right, I'll prowl. That's fine. You prowl. Uh, you said I it's risky, you. or is you, it? Yeah, desperate. I, uh, sorry, it's still desperate. This whole okay. it's the same. It's the same effects. Only now it's standard because you already uh, have a limited. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going Two to limited basically make a standard. If that makes sense. Yeah. Right? So you're already halfway there. So another half. See if it's y'all. I'm gonna do a thing where I like narratively where I uh, because we have this like system of ropes and stuff like that. I'm gonna I'm going to like take a second and so basically what I'm doing is using foresight. I'm going to assist you on this roll, Coomer, without paying stress. But foresight is two times per score. You can assist a teammate without paying stress. Tell us how you prepared for this. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to like get off the rope a little bit. Like as we're climbing up, I'm going to find a service that I can kind of like perch on and like kind of help command and control the midline of like pulling the rope out so it's not like I'm undoing a snag to make it easier for everybody to like get up while Coomer is down at the bottom working just kind of helping with the logistics of everybody climbing up so I'll give you a bonus dice and use one of my foresights nice thank you it's so weird how I'm like the rear end of the human centipede here <laughs> I mean <sighs> better than being that's the, the best middle. part five yeah. yeah I got a five I mean <laughs> um so <laughs> okay <laughs> one stress for you <laughs> Fuck. Give oh, we're group actioning it okay god damn it. how much the stress do you one. have it's rough who me yeah uh i have i think five or six i have i have five i would have had six yeah. but i crit <sighs> i'll drop another coin because i have zero prowl Yep. Oh, yeah, and the, you could do that. And I'm gonna have pretty to drop fair two. devil's bargain for anyone. Duck, I'm gonna have to drop two win. coin, Eric. Um, it doesn't count as much because I haven't made any rolls that I've led yet. But you reminded me to remind you next time. I still have level two harm, so I'm already at zero. And then I'm I don't know what. Can you minus one d from zero? Um, I'm pretty sure you just can't roll. You have to without pushing yourself. To do so that. then I'll pay. I'll pay two more coin to get myself up to rolling one die. Mm. Oh, no, I can't. Spend, I can't do you that. You spend one coin to roll zero dice. 
You don't get to spend. Right. It's it's not a linear trend there. That's it's right. It's one not. coin. All right, got gotcha. you. So I just will, I just will have to drop another coin. To drop two coin and then take no bonus dice. Sorry, sorry, bub. Yeah, that's why I fail. You so take stress for me. That's another stress. And one fewer coin. Is he just um, like literally letting them go? Yeah, I have to. I mean, I'll probably just like drop them on it. You know, like a. I can't keep climbing with this thing. I'll just yeah. like put it down on the ground. Somebody else can pick it up, I guess. Yeah, or there. I, I don't think it's intent. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, actually, it might not be like, intentional. <laughs> I'm not like getting to the top and then yeeting it up. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not a yeet. Yeah. Can I pick that up? Oh, no, I can't. I'm full. Never mind. Go on me. I can pick it up. It up I'm not on the back end. Yeah. I, it's it's such a mean thing though. If I see shinies, I, I have a spare slot too. too. I can pick it up. So yeah, there's two on the route, and if you want to pick it, them up, it hurts me so much. I can yeah, I can get one sever if you want to get the other coin. Remember, like coins okay. in this game, like a, a thing of coin is the equivalent of a week's wage, right? Yeah, so it's, it's like done. it's it's a bunch of money. Okay, then that puts me at four coin. Um, you know, keep in mind that this all this money is all going to the crows, and so you know if they don't get uh their fair share here, they're gonna think something's wrong, and uh, yep. that, you're you're gonna have to deal with that. But, I mean, there's two crows here who are watching us have to fucking get out of yeah. here alive. So yeah, and like That's they're, sad. yeah, they're probably not too happy that you're jettisoning it. But it's also like, get the fuck out. Let's get out of here first before they complain. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like the schmooze. You still have to roll uh, for the group back. Yeah, you 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 start complaining when you're out of the fire. Yeah. <laughs> not right. when you're burning. <laughs> Sounds about Maybe, right. <clears throat> my I wish my Overwatch teammates knew that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the correct. Oh, um, that filled up my prowess track. Fuck. Nice. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, that gets a new action rating into whatever you want in prowess. Fucking prowl. It happens now. It happens immediately. Prowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Next so like, you Goomer's... go, prowl die. <laughs> Goomer's taking, what, three stress? One, two, yeah. three. Yep. Oh, and there's not a, a fucking nothing I can do to resist that, huh? Nope, can, that's what leading group that. action does. Okay, then uh, I can take one more stress and I trauma out. I yep. Yeah, <laughs> Eric, that smile on your face. You're like, oh. So you you're, you're trauma one. out now or one more? One more. It's it's gotcha. it's when the track fills up, correct? You you move to a trauma, or is it one after that? Oh God. It's when it fills up. I okay. thought you passed out up. now. No. <laughs> yeah, so did I. I was like, oh, fuck. One more. Oh, we're going to get the okay, so big you're one boy away. up here. Yeah, you're one yeah. away. I'm two away. And if I fucking pass out, that's that's hoagie too. That's going to be real bad. Yeah, it's real bad. That's like cool. cutting the rope level bad. Yeah. 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 Cut the rope, you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Eric, how what do we have left now to do? Like we succeed uh, well, it's, with a I, I'm coming five. up with the consequence because you got a five. Uh, oh. Um, the consequence isn't the, the doom advances. Um, the consequence is that the path that you're leading to, the only way out is through the casino, not like through a street. You don't have to like basically go up through a service access the you know into the proper casino itself and kind of just floor it at street level. There's no, there's no like sewer exit or anything. It kind of just terminates to mm, um, like an access door, to like the basement of this casino, right? Can so if I resist this, casino. though, there is a, there is just a. There could be another way. Yeah. This, uh, this ghost that he has, this I think is, I'm, I want to say his name was Vulture, right? Like you named him. This. No, uh, it this... was a, uh, it was, it was a. Vultures uh, are different. Uh, the ghost. Vultures this is bird. A... Bird. Mm. This bird. is the one that'll put you in a bottle, right, and just carry. You yeah. around. He, yeah, he, he was like a legendary Bird, the gangster. Yeah. The gangster. Yeah. And what what crew did he work for? Uh, it's his it's legend the legends say he, the legends and stories say he worked for different crews, so who knows? Could you hypothetically, if we go through the casino, could you set Bird loose to wreak some havoc in the casino? He's supposed to protect me, which is the command. He's a, and he's theoretically down, yeah. Theoretically and, uh, the ghost yeah. could go there. Um, but that's not to say that there might not already be like precautions for ghosts and stuff already set up for the casino. Just an idea. But he's like legendary, right? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resist. Boy. I'm gonna resist a, the consequence. He's legendary. He's a pretty damn formidable ghost. But this casino is also a legendary institution. It's probably as old as as the ghost. If nobody else mm -hmm. is gonna resist that consequence, I'll resist it. How, How much stress do you have? Uh, one. <laughs> Eight. Fuck. 
Uh, I've got six, so I'll probably do it then in that case. It's probably... Somebody needs to resist it. Yeah, okay. I'll give it a crack. Okay. So you don't want to go run through a casino? No. Okay. Um, resist with insight as you spot a different way or result. Yeah. Or anything, right? I just want to get well, the safest gonna... and easiest way, way possible. Remember, you yeah. take stress equal to the difference of what you roll. But he gets a bonus die. He got one good. bonus die. Yeah. 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 Insight, you said? Uh, it could be insight or res- or prowess resolve. It's dealer's choice. It's your choice. Um, I, you know, I think insight. Well, I've got survey and all that. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't do, don't do insight. If you do insight, you roll one. If you do prowess or resolve, you roll two. Plus a bonus die. So inside's the one you don't want. Oh, to roll. so yeah, I figured it out why just then. Yeah, go. Yeah, I just, I'm slow. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I'll do resolve. Yeah, resolve. Uh, it's two bonus die, you said? Just one, one. one bonus die. One. Sorry. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You're good. Let fours. Take two. I put two at eight. That's three of us at eight. Oh. So that's three. Three players at eight stress. At least you got it Severin here. Fox so, to muscle. I'm at seven. Um, oh no! Oh no! Oh, yeah, I'm at seven. Yeah, crows. I'm at seven. Yeah. Two so at eight, so two at seven. So the so we have a scene of like the crows getting ready to go to this door and stuff, and that's when we hear like schmooze being like, "No, there's another way." Yeah, because I would, yeah, as someone suggested, I would have, I would know the quickest, I would have the ability, right, to know the quickest way to myself. Surely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Totally. Um. Yeah. So I think I think uh you can lead people. Um, maybe there's like a, a there's like a secret access panel or something like that that you like no, no hold on and you move some stuff out of the way and you can see there's an old like access panel you move that and there's like an access to a, ta- a, a like maybe like a 20 foot or a length uh, ladder up to a manhole to the surface yeah right because that you're in a basement so you're probably 20 feet underground right yeah exactly um, so I'm gonna lead them awesome. all to the manhole be like look guys this is it this yeah. is this is the winner let's go upstairs yeah. let's go clock clock mm-hmm. this looks this looks uh, industrial. This looks doesn't look ancient. This looks straight up to the street level, at least. You know, I can see something up there. Yeah, let's go. Sure. So you're you're the one leading it, right? Correct. I like probably closest to your stuff. So you're the first one up the ladder. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, cool. You move you move the the manhole, uh, you know, top out of the way. Don't talk um, to me. Right? And about thirty feet in front of you, Don't talk um, to me. with their backs towards you, is a big old parade of blue coats, as it's a mm-hmm. honorary anniversary event. At this casino for blue, um, for the commissioner, or sorry, the captain of this ward. <coughs> so we're outside the casino, but they're outside. You're outside the casino. The casino. It's on the street, right? Yeah. So there's like six or seven people like lined up, um, kind of near the entrance here. You can see, like, your eyes, your your face kind of gets hit by the slick water, like light reflecting off the casinos, like dotted lights and you know, like 1920s y kind of, um, you know, catchy grabby lights, um. And yeah, and this you isn't, can, you this hear isn't the a sounds of a, right? This is just a, this no. This is happening. this is just the street. It's it's probably fine. They don't. They obviously don't see you. Is that fog? De- Doom clock? Whatever. Still coming up. Are we good? No, you're good. That's well, that's a, that's not, not a question anymore. Take our time. It's very sneakily get away. Time, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we can take no, our time. The only, the only thing you got to do right now is just make sure none of these blue coats see you getting up out of the uh, sewers. I mean, could we not just stay in there and just chill? No. No. I mean, you you could. You want to just wait down there in the sewers all night? I like the crows I would mean, just get antsy and be um, like, "Nope, we're we're going." How about how about we debate what we want to do after a quick little break? I'm okay with that. Okay. All right. Okay. There you go. All right, guys, we're gonna go on a uh, a fiver. So go ahead and grab yourself uh, a snack or run to the bathroom, do what you got to do, and we will see you <clears throat> momentarily. So see you in a minute or five. Mm-hmm. 